Good morning, guys. It's currently 6 a.m. I'm about to go get surgery for the very first time in my life. I've never had surgery. This is very scary. For those who don't know, I've been having a lot of stomach problems. I believe it could be a stomach ulcer, which is caused by stress and unhealthy eating. Honestly, this might be a wake-up call for me to, you know, start working out, eating a lot healthier. But once again, it's not confirmed that I have it. And the procedure that they're going to do is what's really scaring me. So I don't know if this is too much information but they pretty much get like a little tube with a camera attached to the end of it and they're gonna stick it down my throat all the way into my stomach and the number one rule before surgery is to not watch videos on the surgery guess what I was doing all night watching videos on the surgery so I know exactly how it's gonna go down and it looked extremely uncomfortable <laughs> I just want to let you know number one priority is your health you know screw everything else except your health and happiness it is important to make sure you're taking care of your body, your mental health, and I could definitely learn a thing or two about that. I guess they're gonna put me to sleep. That's another reason why I'm scared because I've never been like put under before. So I guess it's a good thing so I don't feel anything, but I'm just scared that if there was to be a complication, which I hope not, I'm just gonna be in my sleep. I did read a lot of comments saying that it's not as bad as you think. It's not as bad as it looks. And a lot of people were like, hey, I was terrified before this, but I just did it and you have nothing Nothing to worry about so that honestly calmed me down a lot but yeah guys I just wanted to bring you all along you know I haven't vlogged like this for a while and this is a huge day for me thank you guys so much for all of your prayers and concerns I hope I will be fine I hope the results show that there's nothing wrong with me and that it could just be like some stress but yeah without further ado we're gonna go pick up my mom and dad I still need them with me guys I'm 25 years old but for a day like this I need mom and dad with me and of course you guys as well so hope you guys enjoy the vlog <laughs> and I'm scared Mama Rug. Morning. Good morning. I'm crying. Why? For you. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You're gonna be okay. Thank Stop you. It. I couldn't sleep that well last night and I was watching a lot of videos on no, it. Don't. I know, I know, I know. It's bad. But yeah, I'm just hoping that everything will be okay and it's nothing serious. Where's Papa Rug? Don't tell me he's not coming. Should we go wake him up? I mean, I'd love for Papa Rug to be there. If not though, if he has to stay with the dogs, that's fine. That's why I don't. Okay, that's fine. Also, I need someone to drive me there and back because they're gonna put me like under. Under where? This they're my... gonna put you under anesthesia. Yeah. Yeah, don't say they're gonna put me under. That's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, Mama Rug is my DD. Even if they didn't put you in, I was gonna come with you. Thank support, you. support. I know Papa Rug's not coming, but I still have to wake him up and say bye. And Bosley. I need Bosley's support. Wish me luck. Look, look. For my surgery. Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's today? <laughs> you want me to take you? Uh, no, mom is gonna take me. You go to sleep. Take care of the King Bosley who's sleeping right there. But yeah, we'll let you know how everything goes. No, I don't want to see you there. Or maybe, I don't know. Okay, okay, yeah. Go, go back to sleep. I'll come back here after. Bye. All right, let me say bye to Bosley, of course. Yeah, surgery. Bye, Bosley. All right, it's time. The anxiety is on another level right now. I'm trying not to show it. I'm trying to keep calm. They do surgeries like this every single day. I should be good. Guys, another thing I just realized is an ulcer can be caused by spicy food. And everyone knows I love doing my spicy food videos. You know, they go crazy on my channel. It would suck if I have to cut that out of my life. I don't think you will cut it even if they tell you that's the reason. You will keep doing it. After a procedure like this, you have to be monitored for like 24 hours by someone, so, mom? Oh, you're gonna have more than one. Okay. I'm, I'm here for you. I was posting on my story and like tweeting about it, and the amount of love and support I'm getting, like, I do appreciate you guys for real. Thank you guys. <sighs> it's just so weird because I've never had surgery, so it's like, the butterflies in my stomach is unreal, and like, I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but, oh well. Mother, I'm, I'm scared. No. I'm not gonna lie. That's I'm why scared. I'm here. We're gonna check in, do all that stuff, and I don't know what I'm gonna be able to record in there, so I'll keep you guys updated. Guys, it's really happening. I have to wear this. So let's see what I look like. Wait, <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Like that? Dude, this is so scary, guys. I'm gonna ask if I could film with like the doctor, but if not, I love you guys. Wish me luck. I'm freaking terrified. <laughs> Okay, we just picked up Brian from the surgery center. I don't know if he can talk. They're doing okay. Yeah. How was it? Like, I don't really remember it, but I just know I woke up once. I started coughing and like the thing was in my stomach. Oh. They were just telling me to like breathe through my nose. So you felt something? I felt it for sure. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Right when they give you the medication in your arm, within one minute I was like asleep. 
How are you feeling? Super tired and I don't really remember anything from like the procedure. I woke up for one second, I was coughing and like, they're like, we're almost done, we're almost done. You felt the pain when you coughed? I just felt like I couldn't breathe for a second. <gasps> oh my god. Thanks god, you're home, you're okay. You have to lay down. I yeah. Think. Okay, so from what all I know right now is that they didn't find a stomach ulcer, but then they found like two little abnormal things that they had to take biopsies and send to a lab to figure it out. Right, mom? Yes. So what is it? We don't know. We have to read it and call the doctor. I hope it's, again, nothing too serious. It wasn't a stomach ulcer, but two not normal things, which is not what I wanted to hear. Okay, my throat is so sore right now. I don't know, we'll see how I feel when I wake up. Hopefully, I don't sound like this, but at least I'm okay right now. And I hope whatever they found is nothing serious, but I'll keep you guys updated. What up, guys? Bro, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. Thankfully, bro. Dude, thank you, thank you. How was it? It was crazy. It was I woke up my dad this morning. Dad, do you remember or no? I, I don't. What did I say? I said, you said, I'll, I'll go to the hospital later. <laughs> I was like, you don't have to. But guys, I just took a five hour nap. I don't remember anything I recorded before that. After the surgery till now, I don't remember anything that I recorded. I texted Brian in the morning. I didn't know what time his surgery was. At 10, 15 a.m. Brandon said, bro, good luck, bro. Let me know if you need anything. I said I'm in the house in my old room. Dude, I thought the surgery was like later in the day. Little did I know he had already done the surgery. He was home. He was back home. <laughs> But luckily you're good, bro. Thank you. Luckily, it's not a stomach ulcer, which is what I thought it was. They told me I have to cut down on spicy food. Oh, so no more spicy no. food. No, no spicy food videos. My but brother loves spicy food. I know. <laughs> Even like off camera, like without the videos that I make, like I actually love just putting sriracha on everything. Does yeah. Mexican candy qualify as spicy foods or no? I Any hope spices not. I hope it? not. Mexican candy's bomb. There was a, an older lady like helping me with the surgery, and I remember telling her that I love sriracha, and she went crazy she's like they call me the sriracha queen <laughs> and i'm like i better not have to give that up pretty much like the update is like they found two things that they don't know exactly what it could be and they sent it to a lab but they know it's not a stomach ulcer so i'll know the results in like the next week or two yeah. i mean that's good because the stomach ulcer was the worst case scenario so oh. hey at least you don't have a hamstring injury dude that's oh. crazy pelicans in five man that's crazy. first meal after the surgery acai bowl wait mom Mom, how was I on the way back? Oh my god, you, you said you don't remember? Good thing I record the part with Did you. Did they say anything unusual? No, he goes like this now. Brian! Brian! <laughs> Like I was like, so tired. Yeah. I don't even remember. You were anything. out of it. I yeah. swear. Yeah, all I'm saying is that it was a crazy experience. Like I've never like had any anesthesia to put me to sleep. So it was crazy. And to wake up during that. No, I just have a, actually a serious question. Was the camera that they used the G7X? Ah! <laughs> Bro, hey, I was gonna say I, I'm taking vlogging to the next <laughs> level. <laughs> so this is why Brandon asked if I could still eat Mexican candy. I have things you could. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. If I didn't have any stomach problems. I'll be taking almost all of this. It's okay. a lollipop. No one saw anything. <laughs> I mean, it's like kind of spicy, right? A little bit. Yeah. yeah <laughs> All right, this candy right here was my favorite growing up. Pelonazo. Pelonazo? Yeah. Is this a high seller at your store? Yes. Comment down below right now what your favorite Mexican candy is. For me, it's this one, and then also, it's like powder. I think it's this one. Oh, the sour lemon. Yeah. No, 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 this one. What am I saying? This is my favorite. Mine is this one. Ooh. So, can I just ask what you're doing with all this candy? I just decided to fill up Brandon's showers with it. Oh, okay, so you did a prank. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if this would be the best for Apple after surgery, so uh, I'll just leave it here. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a full 12 hours since after my procedure. I'm feeling good right now. Thank you all so much for your support. It was so scary in there. I'm not going to lie. Like, I barely remember anything. I wish I was able to vlog it just so I could look back to see when I woke up during the procedure and, like, what happened exactly because I know I just fell right back asleep. This just shows you the importance of eating healthy and, you know, taking care of your body, taking care of your mental health, making sure you're not as stressed as possible. I know it's hard to just, like, get rid of stress 
stress completely. Trust me, I know that. But there's always ways to cope with it and I'm young guys, I'm 25 and this is not something that I expected I had to do at this young of an age but a lot more young people are stressed nowadays because of social media and all that stuff so I still don't know what exactly is wrong with my stomach but this is where I make a change. I have to literally start eating healthy. They told me to cut down on spicy food. They didn't say to cut it out of my life yet. We're gonna have to wait for the results to see what exactly I have to do to cure it but they said to just cut down on it a little so I'll tone it down a notch. Alright guys, it's been two days since my surgery and I am feeling great right now. Honestly, just waiting for the results. Thank you guys so much for all the support from the bottom of my heart. You guys mean the world to me and I'm back, I'm better. Time to bring out the bangers again. Just had to rest these past few days and you guys have been crushing it with support. You guys don't understand how much that means to me. I love you all so much. Drop a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm really close to 21 million subscribers. Got a lot of things planned for 25 and 30 mil because the the grind doesn't stop, baby. I'll see y'all with the next video. Peace.